What's going on, guys? It's been a little bit. Um, kind of touch on that for a moment. Why it's been a little bit, guys? I've um, this is not a great move for my for my channel or anything like that. But uh, for those of you who don't know, I made a conscious decision that I was no longer going to review knives that I'm not really interested in. So, you know, the reviews are going to be a lot fewer and further between. But at least you know that they'll be genuine, and uh, you know it was something I was actually interested in before I before I decided to get my hands on it. And today's offering comes to us courtesy of Blade Ops. Um, these guys have been really good to me, man. They're uh, they're a great company. Um, you know they they have zero expectations. Um, if I don't like a knife, I can say I don't like it. You know they don't they don't urge me to say positive things about. It. Something they don't urge me to be dishonest, so I like doing business with them. Um, what I got here today is Kershaw's latest in their launch series. I may be a little late on this, many of you have probably already seen it, but um, I was a fan just seeing it. Uh, I was very interested. I love how the launch series are constantly coming out with uh, you know, new designs, a new look. It's very interesting to me. And I'm going to be honest, guys, I've said many times I'm not a clip point fan. I've learned that that's not true. I am a clip point fan. I love the clip point on, say, the Buck 110. Um, I love the clip point on this thing. I'm not a Texas Bowie fan. So I had been stating that wrong all this time. I don't like when the blade gets wider out here before the clip. It's just unattractive to me. Maybe perfectly useful, but... Uh, Yes, yeah, just not my jam. So this is the Kershaw Launch 19. Um, just like I think in every other one of the launch series, this is uh, in CPM 154. Yeah, I know this one is. I, I'm just assuming. I think all the rest of them are. Every one I've handled has been in CPM 154. CPM 154 is a good steel. Um, I consider it a mid-tier steel. And, uh, but yeah, for the average person, the average uh, consumer, the average knife carrier, maybe not a knife collector, CPM 154 is absolutely fine. It's a it's a good serviceable steel. It's easy to sharpen. It'll hold an edge for a decent amount of time. But um, yeah, with uh, this is not a, a steel talk video though. This is just about the Kershaw Launch 19 and what I think of it. Um, so guys, you got this aluminum frame. Uh, this this they call it brown. I think it's a tan G10. Um, with a nice small deep carry pocket clip. They did use button head screws. Kind of wish they hadn't, but as you can see, that gap there is pretty decent. So I don't believe it, uh, it's going to give you any issues. It doesn't give me any issues going in my my nicer jeans. I haven't tried it in a pair of thick seam car hearts, but I, I think it's probably, probably going to fit just fine. Um, one thing I will say about this knife is it is smaller than I thought it would be. However, guys, that's always the case. Every knife I open, I was like, wow, well, this is smaller than I thought. Um, however, I do get four fingers on the grip. No problem at all. That's that's before I choke up to the finger troll. I do really like the finger troll on this thing. It's a perfect size. As you can see, it doesn't have me bunched up right there on that, that dangerous edge. And, uh, you know, gives me a lot more, a lot more control for, you know, precise cutting what have you, but, um, uh, it's a good looking knife. It's a really good working knife. Um, I, by working, I don't mean I've, I've worked with a lot. I just mean the action on it is quite excellent. Um, I think this is about, this is where the spring tension on an automatic should be. In my opinion, I know a lot of guys like that really hard thwack, not saying that this doesn't hit hard. It, it's, it's got a very snappy action. It's just not so hard that um, I have to concentrate to think about what I'm doing before I deploy it so it doesn't fly out of my hand. So I think they did a great job on that. They did a great job on this grind, this satin this satin grind. I, I wish, I don't know what's up with my lighting today, but as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, nice and thin, coming down nice and thin behind the edge. Um, yeah, man, it's a, it's a, it's another hit in the Kershaw Lot series. So if you're interested in one, um, the first comment in this video, I'll have my link to Blade Ops. Uh, guys, I don't make any money off of YouTube. Um, 
I'm definitely not going to make money trying to get you to buy something that I don't believe in or, you know, something that supports a regime that, that I, I do not, that I do not believe in, nor do I have any desire to support. So, but uh, I will have a link for this in the comments in case you're interested in buying one that would be much appreciated, appreciated. Um, yeah. So hopefully, uh, there'll be some stuff coming up soon that, that, uh, that strikes my interest and we can do some more of these. Um, you know, this is a loner, so I can't get out and, and beat it up. Um, all I can tell you is my initial impression and my initial impression is that it's nice. It's very well made. It's got a nice thin blade stock. So it should be an excellent cutter. Uh, great action, great ergonomics, great looks, and it's made in America. What more could you ask for? That's all I got for you guys today. You guys know I appreciate any amount of time y'all spend with me. Peace. Love y'all.